Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Believe it or not, it's time for another in-depth eyeliner video. Uh, this time, we're here to talk about a brand new product from Hourglass. This is, and this is the Hourglass Foyer Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you a demo, and I'm going to tell you what I've been experimenting and finding with this, plus an update on our last eyeliner video, which was the brand new eyeliner from KVD Beauty. I have some updates on that one as well. Now let me tell you, the last video that I did more in-depth on the eyeliner was the KVD brand new tattoo pencil liner, and I did it for Simo, whose life mission is to find an eyeliner that won't wear off her waterline or that tight lines well and stays. But if I had a dime for every person who answered the same in the comments, I would be laying on an island somewhere in the South Pacific relaxing with a nice drink and a breeze. I wouldn't be sitting here. Oh, that wouldn't be a good thing. Okay, so a lot of us need this information and some of us are very technical about eyeliner. So I, am, I, I get technical with these, but I have a really dear friend that I've had my whole life and she went to watch it the other day. <laughs> And she called me, she said it was so technical and wordy and there's so much perspective about this versus that. It's true, it gets a little technical. So I'll try to also kind of keep it light and get all the information in there for you. So the first thing, before we compare it, before I give you an update on the KVD, let's talk about this, okay? Simo, listen up, these could be your babies. Okay, so the Hourglass Voyeur Waterproof Gel Eyeliner is $28. It's an hourglass product, they charge money. It comes in five different shades, four matte, and then there's a shimmer bronze, which I didn't get because I do like to use them in the waterline and to tight line because I don't have a lot of lid space. I have hooded eyes. Um, and so, yeah, there's not a lot of lid space there, but you know, some of you do. And the biggest problem with eyeliners seems to be those of us who have trouble finding one for it to tight line and for the waterline. Or a lot of you told me you like to tight line with one color and waterline different color and it will transfer when you blink. Also, does it stay in the waterline or do you find it scooched underneath? There's all of these things. And so many of us are on this lifelong journey the Carthurian type situation. Um, so here's what I picked up of the two. I just really went very, very traditional. I got Obsidian, the black shade. Funnily enough, Wayne Goss has a an eye pencil named Obsidian, doesn't he? And I got Cave, which is one of the brown shades. I went brown and black this time. I didn't get fun. I just wanted to get the job done. These promise to be 12 hour wear and waterproof. They are not the first gel eyeliner from Hourglass, of course. And the last gel eyeliner from Hourglass I thought was very good, but I have them somewhere. I don't know, but these, uh, all right, let's back up and I'm going to show you them. I, you know what I'm going to do, you guys? I have the Obsidian Black and I have the Cave Brown. Let me show you compared to some of my other favorites, okay? So I just pushed down my bracelets here. Um, this is a nice pencil in that it is both smooth and it does stay put. I'm gonna actually show you some pictures in a minute. I've been wearing it for quite a few days and experimenting. The, the problem with this is it's not, I like a good old fashioned one that you sharpen, but if you like self sharpening, you will like this one. And I, I'll tell you what I like about this self sharpening. Okay, so the bottom, let me see if I can do this for you and you can see it. It's, it, roll, it goes up and down. So I'll put my hand in front of it so you can see. There it is rolled way, way up and it's nice and thick. So when it's rolled up, I like to use, I don't like too sharp, sharp, sharp of a tip right there. That's kind of hard for me to be precise with because I'm a klutz. I do like to use kind of the side of it. So I roll, I've been rolling it up pretty high when I use it and it hasn't broken on me, which is really nice because you wouldn't want it to break in your waterline. And then it does definitely, absolutely roll right back down. Now, um, and then it does self sharpen. It, this does make it hard to see if you're about to run out of product and that sort of thing. I, I am aware of that. Um, we talked last time with the KVD product about that combination of a pencil that is pleasant to use because it's smooth and creamy, but one that also stays. And sometimes we give up one for another. I think this might be a winner. My favorites in the past have been every shade of the Pat McGrath Permagel eyeliner, which is a traditional sharpening pencil, and another traditional sharpening pencil, believe it or not, um, a lot of people think these don't sharpen, but they do, the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner, this particular one in Coco. Um, of course, her shades, some of them run, some of them stay more than others. Coco and Ash seem to be her best, but 
maybe her, her actually her black shade too. Okay, so let's take a look at this right here. Like I said, I picked up Cave in Brown and Obsidian in Black. Let me just show you how Cave swatches. See how nice and creamy that was and quick you'd have to feel it. But it's still, I use the edge and it's self sharpening so it makes a nice line there. Here is Pat McGrath shade and this is a tiny little guy because I do sharpen it and use it a lot. And Pat McGrath is my favorite. It's a little bit waxier and it stays so that pulled a little bit more. And then here is of course our Victoria Beckham Cocoa which is the creamiest, makes the thickest line. Um, but it also can smudge a bit. These two wear pretty well. I'm going to show you some pictures of me playing with the other. Let me just switch topics for a minute and talk to you about the KVD pencils. Um, here is, they are also self-sharpening, and here is the brown shade in the KVD. Um, even when I ran it down my arm, it went messy. This one is tough to use. It did stay on in little dashes, the KVD. It irritated the heck out of my eyes no matter what shade I used for days. So I could put on another eyeliner days later and that eyeliner would even make my eyes itch. These are in a do not use, use them only for comparison drawer. I do have one of those drawers. Um, they do stay. And if you cannot find a liner that will stay on you at all, the KVD might be a good bet, but it is unpleasant to use because it is too thin and gets a little bit shaky and imprecise. And it, it it's uncomfortable to apply. It's not a pleasant experience to apply and it's uncomfortable and irritating to wear for me. All of this is personal. Quite a few of you have actually agreed with me in comments on this video. So let's talk about the hourglass now. Um, Though I prefer a pencil that you can sharpen, I think this is a very nice combination between uh, ease of use and durability. Let me show you something. So I've been playing with this, uh, these pencils for days. So check this out. They definitely stayed. They stayed for 12 hours or more. Here is a photo of me. I took off my makeup at night. I'm very good. I never forget to take off my makeup. I'm really great with skincare. So I took off all my makeup. The eyeliner was off. It was still in the waterline and still on the um, tight line area from the night before. Look at it in the morning. <laughs> I was like, I had eyeliner on still? Yes, it traveled. Now, this did travel, but I was sleeping, you know, so it, it didn't travel during the day, but as you see, it was still there, and with my eyes very tightly shut all night, it did travel. So then I went into the shower and used some makeup remover. I had not gotten the bifacil out yet, so I used some makeup remover in the shower, and here is me from the shower. Take a look. Still there. And even with the bifacil, I had to scrub. And I have been experimenting with this new hourglass for three or four days, and it's kind of still there. I kind of have a smokier eye than I intended to have in some other videos <laughs> that I filmed today um, because it's still there. So this hourglass really stays, almost overstays its welcome a little bit. I actually still prefer the Pat McGrath because that stays but then comes off and the certain shades of the Victoria Beckham, they stay and then come off. The, this hourglass stays and then it stays, and then you think it's off, and the next morning you have those little raccoon eyes. It didn't travel on me during the day though, that's worth noting, it was only when I was sleeping. This stays, but it's also very comfortable to use and creamy and comes in pretty shades. Whereas the KVD stays, but it's waxy, it's irritating to me, and uncomfortable to wear. I cannot recommend the KVD. I can definitely wholeheartedly recommend the Hourglass. The only problem I have with this Hourglass uh, Voyeur waterproof gel eyeliner is that it is self-sharpening. I would rather it not be, but it's it's actually, it, it does that well, I should say. And the fact that it actually lasts too long. I know that's weird to say, but it actually lasts too long. Again, the question would be on you, if you use it in the waterline or if you tightline with it, is it going to travel? Only traveled on me while I slept, but I could not believe it was still there. I, I really take off my makeup so well, and it was still there. This is a pricey one, $28, um, but if you are having trouble finding something and you want comfort, ease of use, and durability, I'm going to recommend this Hourglass for your waterproof gel eyeliner and I want you to tell me what you think about it. Um, this should be released, it's on the Hourglass website now when I got it a few days ago. I hope it will come to Sephora and such and to a retailer near you. Let me know if you're interested in this. Drop a comment if you also are looking for your holy grail 
eyeliner. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. A lot of people telling me that Tarte, people are sleeping on Tarte and they make a great eyeliner. A lot of course are fans of Chanel. A lot of you love Chantecai. We're getting a lot of great recommendations. We need to find everyone their holy grail eyeliner because um, you know, all of our eyes take to these eyeliners differently. Uh, but this hourglass, I think it's a really good one. It just, it gives new meaning to long wear. It's like, go away, go away. How much bifacil could I, go away. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that I can see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.